Hello viewers, today I am going to acquaint you with the musical term Murchna. As I had stated in my previous lecture on the definition of Gram, that Gram, Murchna and Jati is the terminology of ancient Indian music. In ancient times, present term Rag was not in use in its present sense. Jati Gayan was in vogue in place of Rag Gayan. Ancient Jatis were based upon Murchnas. In fact, a well knitted system of Gram, Murchna and Jati Gayan prevailed in the ancient times. About the term Gram, I had explained in my previous lecture. So, in this lecture, let us know about another ancient term Murchna. The definition of Murchna or the concept of Murchna, the formation of Murchnas, the significance of Murchna in the ancient Indian music and its present status. The first is the concept of Murchna. Murchna is the most important concept of ancient music. This concept appears to have been used in the ancient music in ancient Indian text Bharat in his Natya Shastra in 2nd or 3rd century and Sarangdev in his Sangeet Ratnakar in 13th century have mentioned about Gram, Murchna and Chati etc. Murchna has been defined in Sangeet Ratnakar of Pandit Sarangdev as Kramat Swarana Saptanam Aroshach Avrohanam, which means the Aroho and Avroho of seven swars or notes or the recitation of seven notes in ascending and descending order is known as Murchna. It is evident from the above Sanskrit sloka of Sangeet Ratnakar that seven notes are to be recited in succession in both ascending and descending order. Starting from either note of the seven swars, for example, Sare Gama Padhani Sani Dhapa Mangare or Ma Padhani Sare Ga Mangare Sani Dhapa. We have seven notes in scale. So, we had seven murchnas starting with either of the note of the scale. In ancient times, murchnas were originated or produced from grams. Since there were sharaj and madhyam, two popular grams, so there were two sets of swars, sharaj gram swar and madhyam gram swar. In each gram, starting from each note of gram and singing its aro and avro that is ascending and descending of the notes was known as murchna. In the ancient text, for example, starting from sa and singing sa re gama padha ni, this was the first murchna of shadajgram. The second murchna was started from ni of the lower octave and singing ni sa re gama padha and coming back. Similarly, considering each note of Shadajgram as fundamental or keynote and singing Aro and Avro from there produced seven Murchnas of Shadajgram. Now, let us see formation of Murchnas. Ancient music scholars produced seven Murchnas from each gram. Since three grams, Sharaj, Gandhar and Madhyam were there, so seven Murchnas from each of the three grams and twenty-one Murchnas in all could be produced. Gandhar gram became obsolete during the time of Bharat and only two grams, Sharaj and Madhyam existed in the ancient times. That is why our text postulate seven Murchnas from each of the remaining two grams. Thus, fourteen Murchnas from Sharaj and Madhyam grams were given distinct names. 
seven mochanas of Sharaj Gram with their distinct names and notes are shown in a table. Just have a look on this table of Murchnas of Shadajgram. The first Murchna was Uttramandra, having the notes as Sare Gama Padhani. Number two, Rajni, having the notes as Ni Sare Gama Padha. Number three, Uttrayata, having the notes as Dhani Sare Gama Pa. Number four, Shut Sharja, having the notes as Padhani Sare Gama. Number five, Ashvakranta, having the notes as Ma Padhani Sare Gama. Number six, Matsri Krita, having the notes as Gama Padha Nisare. Number seven, Abhirud Gata, having the notes as Re Gama Padha Nisa. It is important to mention here that the first Murchna of Sharaj Gram, that is Uttramandra, was started from Sharaj or Sa of the middle octave. The remaining six Murchnas were started from Ni Dha Pa Ma Ga Re notes respectively of the lower octave and using further notes accordingly in ascending order. So Uttramandra, Rajni, Uttrayata, Shut Sharja, Ashvakranta, Matsrikrita and Abhirudgata, these seven Murchnas were produced from Shadajagram. Similarly, other seven murchnas were produced from Madhyam Gram, which are mentioned in a table with the distinct names. Just have a look on this table of murchnas from Madhyam Gram. Starting from the note Madhyam or Ma, the first murchna was Soviri, having notes as Ma Padhani Sarega with Sarega of upper octave. The next is Harinaswa having notes as Gama Padha Nisare with Sa Re of upper octave. Number three, Klopanta having notes as Re Gama Padha Nisa with Sa note of upper octave. The next is Shuddh Madhyama, having notes as Sare Gama Padhani, all notes of middle octave. The next is Margwe, having the notes as Ni Sare Gama Padha, with Ni of lower octave. The next is Porvi having the notes as Dhani Sare Gama Pa with Dha and Ni of lower octave. The next is Harishaika having the notes as Padhani Sare Gama with Padha Ni of lower octave. The The above set 14 murchnas of Sharaj and Madhyam Gram, that is 7 murchnas each, were having all the notes as Shutswar or full tone notes in ancient period. Except Shutswar, there also existed two Vikritswar, that is altered notes or modified notes in the scales, namely Antargandha and Kakli Nishad. In each gram, except seven murchnas from Shudswar, there were also invoked seven murchnas using Antar Gandhar instead of Shud Gandhar and seven murchnas using Kakli Nishad instead of Shud Nishad. And above all, seven more murchnas with the overlapping of 
both the notes with the use of both the vikrit swars that is antarkandha and kakli nishat both these all murchnas were known as santra murchnas using antarkandha sakakli murchna using kakli nishat and sadharni krita murchnas using both the vikrit swars respectively thus 28 murchnas were produced from each gram which were seven varieties with shuddh swar seven varieties with antargandhar seven varieties with kakli nishad and seven varieties with antargandhar and kakli nishad both in ancient music only shadaj and madhyam gram were in vogue hence 56 varieties of murchnas or murchna bhed were there as i said earlier gandhar gram became obsolete in the ancient times but seven murchnas of gandhar gram are mentioned in some old texts which need to be mentioned here the distinct names and notes of seven murchnas of gandhar gram are mentioned in the table the murchnas of gandhar gram were number 1 nanda having notes as ni sa re ga ma pa dha number 2 vishala having the notes as dha ni sa re ga ma pa number 3 sumukhi having the notes as pa dha ni sa re ga ma number 4 chitra having the notes as ma pa dha ni sa re ga number 5 rohini having the notes as ga ma pa dha ni sa re number 6 sukha having the notes as re ga ma pa dha ni sa number 7 alapa having the notes as sa re ga ma pa dha ni as stated earlier gandhar gram became obsolete in the time of bharat in ancient times therefore only two grams that is shadaj and madhyam and 14 murchnas from the two grams were in use now let's see significance of murchnas gram and murchnas carried very significant role in the ancient times it is well depicted in the words of arun bhattacharya in his book a treatise on ancient hindu music he writes the music pattern in ancient times was mostly governed by the arrangement of murchnas and so it occupied a very important position in determining the nature of music pandit firoz from ji the research scholar and the author of 30 books on indian music in his valuable research book sangeet swar shruti shiksha tatha prachin murchna arthat adhunik shastriya thought padhati in 1937 has written it is admitted fact that murchna play an important part in the production of rags in other words ancient murchnas are themselves what we call the present day thoughts the great advantage of the classification of rags according to murchnas is this that one can simply at a glance know the exact shruti intervals vibrations some other relationship etc it is not irrelevant to mention that in ancient period jati gayan was invoked instead of present rag gayan as the present rags are produced from thoughts in the same manner ancient jatis were produced from murchnas while describing jati ancient scholars always mentioned their murchnas which was exact 
or which was itself explanatory to acquaint with the notes of the particular jati. When rag system came into existence, initially even rags are said to have been produced from murchnas. But with the replacement of murchna with males in the medieval period and with thoughts in the present, the term murchna became obsolete. With the advent of thought rag system of Pandit Vishnu Narayan Bhatkhande, in the modern period, all the rags are classified under the ten thoughts. So, it is evident that today murchna does not carry that meaning and significance as it had in the old days. In the present day music, the terms gram and murchna have become obsolete and sharaj or sa note has become the keynote for every rag. Since sharaj is the fundamental note, therefore, it is the beginning note for any composition. Starting from various notes or murchnas is absolutely no more. Today, the term murchna is used in Carnatic music with the different sense, but in Hindustani music, it does not exist at all. Sometimes, some scholars use this term for vibration. To sum up, we can say that Gram and Murchna is the terminology of ancient Indian music. In the ancient period, only two Grams, Sharaj and Madhyam existed, making seven Murchnas from each Gram. Thus, fourteen Murchnas prevailed with their distinct names. These fourteen Murchnas from two Grams were the base of old Jati Gayan system. Since there were four different kinds of murchnas of each gram, so there were 28 murchna bhed from the Sharaj gram as well as from Madhyam gram. In fact, a well knitted system of gram murchna and Jati system prevailed in the ancient times. As the Gandhar gram became obsolete in the ancient period, so is the Madhyam gram in the medieval period. In the modern period, only Sharaj gram prevails. It is not irrelevant to mention here that now Sharaj or Sa has become the fundamental note of all the music compositions. This is true that with the passing of the time, many terms become obsolete, while some other important terms lose their old significance or are used with some distinct meaning. The same is the case with the old terms gram and murchna, which do not carry their old uses and significance in the present day Hindustani music. Thank you.